Hello everyone, it's the Rambling Old Man here, and the Mueller Report is out, and I guess some people are a little bit upset. What the hell does that mean? Fluff. I got the fluff. But anyway, for two years we've been hearing nothing but must protect Mueller because Mueller's going to do the job. Must protect Mueller. Can't let anybody interfere with Mueller. And my alarm's going off for some reason. Anyway. So, everyone's been going on that you've got to protect Mueller, got to protect Mueller, Mueller's going to do the job, Mueller's going to fix everything. Guess what? Now the Mueller report is out, you got mm, half the left going. Yeah, the Mueller report really doesn't matter because we know he's guilty. So it really doesn't matter what the evidence says. And Bill Maher was out there and he was like, I don't need the Mueller report. I know he's guilty. I have a TV. Yeah, so does most other people in the world. But And someone replied to him on Twitter and it was like, I know the, I know the earth is flat because I have a map. And that's about as good as that conversation has gone. <laughs> Due to the fact that, I mean, Bill Maher's an idiot to begin with. And uh, he's not even relevant anymore. But then again, I mean, neither is CNN, neither is MSNBC. I mean, MSNBC has spent two years covering this freaking thing. With 90% of their shows basically being Orange Man Bad. And... Russia collusion and stuff like that. And it's like, who cares? Really? Who cares? Because the thing is, they're all going on about, oh, Russia interfered in our elections. But the thing is, since 1946, America's been interfering in every other country's election. Same as every other country interferes in every other country's election. Same as Obama. He sent his former freaking campaign chief and a whole bunch of taxpayers' money over to Israel in an attempt to help the Israeli opposition overthrow Bibi Netanyahu. I mean, it probably would have been a good thing now seeing that Bibi is up on fraud charges. There's a fraud of money, money laundering. Either way. Either way, it's one of them. So he's up on them. So, I mean, I suppose that would have been a good thing. But, I mean, if America doesn't like a government, they just overthrow it. Either covertly, overtly. And it's like... Someone interfered in yours because you do it to them. The only reason you're up, you're all friggin' butthurt is because Hillary lost. I mean, all, all politicians are criminals anyway. I mean, just look at Canada. If we can get that idiot Trudeau bouncing around saying about how, how he loves women and that it's fine for a company that is, so far I think they've been found guilty of $150 million in bribes. But it's fine to protect them because it's going to protect 9,000 Canadian jobs. So a company that's already done... 150 million dollars in bribes should still be able to get government contracts because and it's just like the stupidity is ridiculous I mean you look at Australia I'm Australian so I keep up what's going on in Australia you got basically all the farms being brought up by the Chinese all the airports being brought up by the Chinese and the government, I mean, the, the Australian government has been selling out to the Chinese for like 40 years. Or longer than that. Before I was born. <laughs> but now they're just starting to, but now people are starting to cry national security. It's like, it's too late, bud. Government's already sold out your national security. But Scott Morrison, he's a freaking idiot. <sighs> Listen to 2GB at night and all you all hear is freaking Scott Morrison going on. <laughs> It's like, it's such a dildo. 
like probably between Australia, Canada, and the States. I'd probably put Trump first. Well, Trump is the better one. Then Trudeau, then Morrison. Because even though Trump's a dink, and freaking idiot, at least he's at least he's got a good good grouping with him that are trying to keep him level. I mean, Trudeau is basically his people are like, who can we pander to this week because we got an election coming up. And Scott Morrison is basically the same. Who can I pander to this week? And it's... It's just ridiculous. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Rambling Old Man. If you have a good one, if you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, and stay hang around for the next video.